yani ile siku tunamwona tena kwa klabu na anaka ni kama ako tips ya wanini tafanya na kiboko so in short kukunya pombe kama ni msanii wa gospel ni mbaya kama kwa wale wote ambao mnatutazama langujina ni Jitabi Sulema na basi tuko kwenye hafla jijini Nairobi ambapo tuko na Jalango TV tuko na Kaka TV tuko na Nairobi Uh, Nairobi 254 TV na tuko na story za 254 TV. Na basi nimeungana na wasanii amazing tena sana ambao mnawafahamu ambao wamekuwa kifanya mziki wa ngoma za injili ambao nataka tuzumze nao. Mkiona kwanza look yao sijomba mtazum look yao jamani kwanza kwanza ya timeless jamani. <laughs> Who did this outfit for you? Anaitwa Lloyd Maze. Big shout to Lloyd Maze. Muongeze mshahara. Ukaje like. Yeye ndo anafaa nilipe. Happy New Year. Happy New Year Maze. Niko fit na sema mwaka mwanza vizuri. Umeona vile gospel tumeanza. Atujona event ya secular bado. Ukoje like. Niko poa sana uko poa. Niko poa kabisa. Yes yes yes. So far rada ni gani? Kwenye gospel. Rada ni Yesu. Rada ni Yesu kama kawaida but Tumefurahia sana kwa hapa. Unaona? Unaona unaona? Amen. Jabidi, mara ya pili nakuona baba yako. Eh mwanze yani. Eh by the name Jabidi aka Power Dread ndio hizo zimegrow kidogo. But hizi kuna mali azivikangi. So mkionanga wazee unasema anga mbona dread za usi azibagi. Eh nizikifikanga level kama saa hizi zimeanza ku misbehave. Zinapunguzwa. Yeah yeah. Alright tukiongelelea mambo ya injili kidogo pale. Hii afla nimeangalia ni ya kanisa. Yeah. Na umesema gospel mshaanza. Hao naona ni ya kanisa baba. Mbona nyinyi wenyewe wasanii msiungane pamoja mfunge concert? Ona hapa paka emoji wako hapa. Daddy Owen ako hapa. Wake up. Mimi nakwambia watu wanasema ati gospel is dead. Hiyo narrative hiyo ilikuwa story watu walikomeka na nakwambia watu walijaribu ku believe hiyo kitu. Let me tell you this year tumekuwa intentional right now. Hakuna ngoma watu wametoa ngoma nyingi kama gospel. Like this week he to seventh day ni seventh day <laughs> ngoma ka 15 zimetoka zishaanguka zenye na trend nimeona ni yako na size 8 size 8 ya yeah, inaitwa eh, sifa inafaa mm -hmm. so hiyo ngoma mzee hata kuna surprise mtu ana surprise mahali kwa performance yeah. so ishaanza kuvuka buka ishaanza imeenda kabisa eh, yeah. nimeona sisi ni kwa mdogo umekuwa kufanya muziki na timeless what keeps your friendship strong uh, unajua na sasa mtu yani god amekuwa ame ame sustain juu kwanza tukipatana tuki ilikuwa haikuwa ni kitu imepangwa alafu your brother would come from them days na pia god akatupatia favor fulani yenye tulipata ma big song manze tukiwa na timeless so ni kitu tunaweza sema tu ni god ame manage kutu sustain kwa zenye kuwa kwa pamoja single si rahisi kuwa kwa pamoja ni ni ngumu inahitaji yani like hizo hiyo coordination inahitaji manze sometimes sasa wanakosana inabidi tena manze unajua hiyo hiyo kuongea tena pamoja So eh, na sema tu ni God ame sustain. Jun sasa imekuwa nini 7th year na tunashukuru God. Uh -huh. yeah. Ni mwaka mpya mm -hmm. na tumeona gospel mmeanza on high notes. Yes. Lakini watu pale nje wanasema kwamba timeless mwenyewe alisema mnataka kurudisha bahati. Ni mm. 2024. Do you support that? Eh, kila mtu mwenye kila mtu mwenye ni msanii mwimbaji mwenye amepewa talanta na Mungu. Yeah. Tunataka wa realize that talanta yao Mungu aliwapatia ndio wamtukuze. So si hata si ati ni bahati at specifically bahati tu ni an example of so yeah, many. Yes, Tunataka yes. kila mtu mwenye mwenye hapo huko nje a realize that uh hii mziki at the end of the day Mungu ndiye ametupatia hii talent. Na the reason why ametupatia hii talent ndio tutumie hii talent for good. And the best thing you can do ni utumie talent kumtukuza. Uh -huh. Yes. All right, timeless. Yeah. Umeona pale kwenye mitandao ya kijamii uh -huh. kuna the sister ya Pastor Kanyari. Yeah. Umeona the story. Mm. Unaweza zungumza kidogo jina. Uh, so si kubonga about it kwa sababu ni story sensitive yeah, na sir. familia yake tunasema tu yani hakuna feeling mbaya kama wasana ongea about family member na ni kitu dia sana so yeah. yani familia Kanyari tunaomba tu yani goda atembe na nyinyi kwa hii season na tunasema tu eh, kitu iende legal na ikuwe fit mm -hmm. kwa sababu ku lose msedia mimi vile ni lose my father ilikuwa kitu sensitive sana na kitu ilikuwa uchungu kwangu ni ili announce before family members wajue hey. eh, imagine watu wa, sister wangu alikuwa kwa barabara wanaenda hosi wanaona iko kila mali kwa social media father me pass so story kama hii nasema tu iko sensitive we protect their family kwa sababu ni time nyingine pressure sana yeah labda nikuulize naona hujatoboa masikio lakini nauliza is it right for a gospel artist kutoboa masikio na kwenda kikundi kama mashumwana ah ah is it right for an artist ku kupia mimi nasema mimi nasema eh 
ni decision sana fanya. Kitu tunafa kufoka sana ni heart na decision ya msema la naenda. Kwa so most of the time, hata mtu atanza kusema ni kitoka kwa Piers, mtengia kwa nyuele, mtoko kwa nyuele, mtengia kwa iluk. Iluk inafa kulia kwa chati. Kwa na yoleo. So minasema, bora msea na serve God, genuinely. God anangala heart, not vile muli naka. And then, kuna vitu zingine, usifanya msea stumble. Iko two sides, ya. Alright. Tukwa danda, tunajua. I think kuna, kuna yoki tuwenye God ali nispikia aliniambia by the way sometimes alitutuma na message moja that uh, ya John 3:16 but tulienda tukaanza ku preach mambo mob tukaanza kuambia wasema mambo mob ukienda kuambia mse eh hey, tatu ni mbaya na mtu alikuwa acha chora chora tatu before like god alikuambia alitutuma na message moja ya yeah. whoever believes in him like yendo message tunapata tunakuwa so wakristo wamekuwa judgmental sana na watu wametoboa masikio mimi sijatoboa sijachora tatu but si ati mtu mwenye amechora tatu ama nini ati god ampendi god anakupenda na huyo bado ako na chance ya pale heaven as long as amefuata hiyo message moja so tuna tunaongea mambo mob tunasema mambo mob tunasahau manze John 3:16 na tunasahau bado pia ile revelation inasema ngani aje every knee shall bow na every tongue shall confess that Jesus is the king so uko hivyo nje tuachane na mambo mob tuachane na mambo eh hey, manze huyu sijui ni nini huyu ni nini kuna message moja wanga tunasahau hiyo time tunajaribu kuweka hizi vitu zingine Alright tulikuwa na concert ya Christina Shusho mm -hmm. na wakati kama nyinyi gospel wasanii wa gospel hapa nchini mm -hmm. Kenya mm -hmm. kwenye line up ya Christina Shusho mm -hmm. kulikuwa na comedians mm -hmm. kama kina Maminto yes. hawakuwa wameka wasanii mm -hmm. before that mm -hmm. watu wakaanza complain wakisema kwamba mbona mlilalisha mm -hmm. wasanii wa injili ya Muku Teta uh, unajua sasa pia sisi tulikuwa mm -hmm. sisi tuli, tuli perform kuna wasanii ambao wali perform mm -hmm. i think i think uh, one thing always change ni ni notion ya watu wenye wana watazamaji wenu unajua mafans wenu kitu yote wanataka kusema sisi hatuwezi change narrative yote wako nayo ni kenye hao wana feel kwa roho yao lakini sisi tunaweza jiongelea na kujiongelea ni sisi hatuoni shida yote eh, tulikuwa kulikuwa na other eh, gospel ministers na kina shusho ni ministers kama sisi sisi ni ministers kuna wengine wengi walikuwa hapo tulipatana huko tukafurahia tukavuka mwaka na Yesu na tumefungua mwaka na Yesu amen the last time i talked to you timeless <laughs> unajua uliniambia je <laughs> lazima urudishe baha kwa game ya gospel yeah. ulifanya hivi eh, nasema baha baha ba conviction ishaanza kumhit that's the fact Bama liyuko wanapenda God Zala. So, Baha, eh, wacha tukuwambe, tumekupajia two days. Two days, Ali? Atibame, eh, amalize, amalize. Naju wata president akingianga kwa, kwa place. Anapajua ongo wasiku one week ama seven days. Yani kutuwa mavitu and everything. So, tumempajia two days. Ato etu hizo mamuziki, kwa platform, doa inge vizuri. So in short, kukunya pomba kama ni msani wa gospel ni mbae? Lali, kuna na kuambia, kukunyu hapaka iku confuse akili ndo kitu mbaya. But unaza wanda kadoga. Kuna vitu, kuna difference between good and right. Si nacheki? Wine. Eh, hey, wine. Ukikunywa, najua kuna watu hapa wananiatazama hapa. Anakunywa tu pombe, lakini ni pasta <laughs> ama ni msanii ama ni hoka. Unajua? Ukikunywa pombe na intention yako ni kuconfuse mindset yako hiyo ndio simu. Mase. Alright, basi ya mwisho. Haipoti alienda wapi? Juu tulimona alitoka mlimtoa na Odi pale. Okay. Sikuizi amepotea kwa yeah. sina chujua yako wapi? Okay. Labda unaweza tuambia alienda so, wapi? So, najua ilikuwa party hiyo ilikuwa jani yetu at that moment like after Odi dance na KDF na ilifika place tulianza kwenda individual jani. So kwa project ilifika tulianza hivyo ikafika ngoma and then eh, Jabdi akaanza kufocus na Solomon come back na TV. Odi akaenda na msiki kiasi na kaenda na ball. So right now tuna believe ikifika time project to work together together iko sawa but hata sasa ile tumeona na yeye ni boss kabisa yeah all right mimi nasema asante tena sana for your time muendelee kuko humble alivyo manze ladies and gentlemen every comedy hapa president of comedy africa yo yo this is kushman pedi wa magenge mambo vipi watu wangu wa nairobi na kenya mzima subscribe kwa stories za nini 254 across all social media platforms Bana kuchanganya. <laughs> Na wewe ndo dori subscribe right now. Finya sahi. Sa wewe finya.